We all know about colouring books. Tongs out, legs in the air, colouring between the lines. But have you ever heard of reverse colouring? It's a new trend that I've seen a lot of artists doing where you have the colour and it's your job to draw the lines. And I thought it would be really cool to give this a go and see what I could do as a professional artist. Before I jumped right in and got started with the main piece, I thought it'd be best to practice first. I started with some watercolour paper masking tape to my drawing board and then I just covered it with loads of different colours of acrylic paint. My idea was to use a pen to draw the lines and draw what I could see. And I'm going to pre-warn you, I didn't quite get the angle right with the filming, so I apologise for my head getting in the way quite a lot. I've never actually done anything like this before, so I thought I'd just give it a go. Usually I use reference photos as part of my drawing process but I'm gonna give it a go and just try and see what I can, well, see. So I think I'm gonna start down here. I think I can see almost like a happy little whale or something. Little fin. I don't really know what creature it is. I'm just drawing as I go. Probably doesn't look anything like a whale. Kind of drawing what I'm seeing. Just having a bit of a dabble, really. I'm seeing almost like a little fish with a big fin. And a very small tail and another little fin just here up here i'm seeing some sort of like bird with a bit of a beak and he's quite big and round in shape i'm seeing this sort of like water come all the way around here i can almost see like a little dinosaur here almost like a little raptor or something oh here another leg you see these are not the most amazing drawings and then like a tail coming down here let's put some spikes on it or something it's been so long since i've just doodled something like this it's quite freeing and quite sort of fun it engages a part of my brain that i don't really use very much anymore because everything that i'm doing is sort of like it's almost like instinct whereas this is something new and it's something i've got to think about a little bit more, even though I'm trying to not think, I'm trying to just draw what's in front of me, it's something that I don't normally do. Yeah, I'm going to stop there because I'm pretty excited about what I'm going to do next. So you've obviously just seen my little dabble there, which wasn't amazing, but it sparked some ideas in my head and got me thinking a little bit more creatively about what you could actually do with this technique. And I think if you preemptively decide what colours you're using, and you have a little bit more control over what you're going to draw. So I'm going to see if I can use this technique to create quite an interesting piece of artwork rather than just a little sketch like that. I decided I'd do my favourite animal, a tiger, and I'd started by blocking in that thin wash of acrylic paint to add the colour to the paper. Once I'd got those colours down and dried, I needed something a little bit more substantial than a normal pen, so I got out a Posca marker. I don't usually use these in my normal work, but I thought it would be perfect for drawing the lines of the stripes of that tiger. Once I was done with that, I moved back to the regular pen to add some cross hatching, some shading and some details. I was enjoying this piece so much that I wanted to take it a little bit further, so I decided to add some whites back in with another Posca marker. I couldn't stop there and I needed to just build it up just using some pastel pencils to refine the colours and adjust everything that little bit more. And just to finish it off, I'm using my sword liner brush and a bit of acrylic paint. I'll pop a link down to the brush in the description if you'd like to get a hold of one, just to finish it off with some whiskers and the final lights of the eyes. Just look how this piece turned out. I really love the effect of that sort of abstract splashy background, the colours and the cross hatching of the pen. This is a really effective technique. I think reverse colouring is actually something that everyone should try. 
I've had loads of fun creating this piece and what I realised was it's actually not that different from the way that I normally work and if you'd like to learn a little bit more about my process for doing that and how I would incorporate this into a finished piece then please check out this video here. As always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.